I'm going to go fast because uh, I have two more themes I want to talk about. And the first here is reinvention. Uh, these guys are from the Playing for Change band. Uh, Playing for Change is an organization, actually, uh, a former Global Giving partner uh, that you, you may have seen their videos on YouTube. Uh, they get musicians from all around the world uh, to kind of virtually collaborate and perform together and reinvent uh, both popular music and, and folk music, and they're, they're phenomenal. Um, reinvention, uh, in, in our case, and I think in a way that is reflective of what's useful for data scientists in the social sector, uh, we, we, we borrow a lot. Uh, I mentioned earlier we, you know, we stole the idea for that uh, story arc thing from a paper. Um, well, we want to tell a story about reinventing uh, some concepts from the behavioral economics literature. Um, you may be familiar with uh, Robert Cialdini, uh, who wrote this book, Influence, or Dan Ariely, um, who is the guy behind Predictably Irrational. Uh, he's also got a great TED Talk. Um, and they've done a lot of work with social proof and understanding kind of the un underlying dynamics of what makes people do a thing. And so uh, we were fortunate enough to get to collaborate with Dan Ariely uh, and his colleagues Mike Norton and Lalina Anik uh, on, this, on this project a couple years ago, which was looking at how can we get, uh, how can we encourage more donors to go from a one-time donation to an ongoing recurring monthly donation? That's a complicated, it's a seemingly simple, but actually really complex ask. And so we did a lot of experimenting with how can we frame, how can we take what we know from the behavioral economics world and reinvent it into something that actually is useful on the site? Um, and I'm not going to get too deep in the weeds on this, but what their experiment was, was to, on the checkout page, uh, put a little flag that says, if 75% of people who see this flag don't, or X percent, whatever it is, uh, of people who see this flag choose to upgrade to a recurring donation will match everybody's. Um, and that comes direct from the social proof literature uh, of Cialdini and, and Ariely. Uh, and what they found is actually that if you, if you dial that number in right, uh, it had a material increase in the amount of recurring donations that we got people to sign up for. Uh, and this is great. Organizations really benefit from recurring donations because they lead to predictable revenue and then they can actually plan. And for what tend to be relatively small organizations, the security of knowing that you're going to get that 200 bucks this month, next month, and the month after can be really meaningful. Um, and so this, so this is a big win. Um, here's what it looks like now. Uh, and you'll notice the simplicity uh, angle at play here again. This is actually a lot simpler uh, than what came out of that experiment. There's a lot of reasons behind that. Uh, one of them is it's a lot easier to maintain. Two is it's a lot easier to explain when people call in and go, what are you talking about? Um, so right now, uh, every uh, new monthly recurring donation uh, until we run out of money to do so uh, gets matched uh, such that you donate in month one, once it recurs for, I think it's three months, then we match, we, we give you an additional month for free. Um, and this has been a really, really beneficial uh, both improvement for our organizations, and I think a good example of what reinvention can look like to go from the academic literature into an experiment and ultimately into something that now lives on, on the site.